Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and the fourth video in our common VLOOKUP function problem series and in this video we're going to look at what to do if your table array, your lookup table increases in size the, the size of that range is constantly changing and we need to have VLOOKUP to return these extra items or to adapt to less items etc. Now in this video at the moment, in this VLOOKUP, I've just got a basic VLOOKUP looking for the contents of H3 within that lookup table, B3 to F11 and return the name of the fruit, column 2. And it works fantastic. However, if the table was to increase in size, if I was to have a new fruit item here, which I'm going to say is £1.20. I'll ignore the border format in there for the moment. And somebody needed to search for that fruit item. Our VLOOKUP is not working. Because the table array was specified as B3 to F11. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just a basic reference. We're going to need as to be a little bit more than that to cater the fact that we know this lookup table is going to increase in size over time. So we need a table array to be dynamic. Now let me undo my uh, my additional fruit. And there are a few techniques for this, but from Excel 2007 and onwards, the best technique will be to select your lookup table and to format it as a table. Now I say there's other techniques for this and you can also create dynamic range names which is still great uh, even if you are on Excel 2007 plus but it's not efficient as using a table. I wasn't going to cover creating dynamic range names in this video uh, I have another video for that please check it out on our YouTube channel uh, or find some article via Google to explain how that can be done uh, using a function called offset. Anyway, for now, I was going to apply it or format using one of these designs. I'm going to go for a green one. Well, actually, let's go for that one. I'm going to right click and apply and clear uh, so it gets rid of my current format and I've got there uh, and assigns that beautiful green one. But that's not important. You don't need really need that. What I've done is it has applied that formatting. You can always change that with this design at the top. I don't have to have the formatting. But more importantly, uh, we now have a dynamic range. That's what the table works as. And on the far left of this design tab under table tools, it's also given us the ability to name that table. So even if your range wasn't dynamic, this is probably a more effective way than using B3 to F11 because the formula is easier to read with a, a decent name and especially if you're referencing across sheets which I'm not in this example but if you were it's going to be far easier for people to use for you to write and people to read now I'm going to call it fruit list type fruit list and press enter now I need to go back to my VLOOKUP and make sure that is using my table called fruit list Make a note that B3 to F11 is still okay. Even though it's formatted as a table, I can still reference the cells as normal. But a far more effective way now would be to use fruit list. As I'm typing, you can see the table icon, you can see it pop up in the list. Would you like this fruit list? Uh, yes, absolutely I would. And now, if I added a new record, 77 grapes. 44, 120. This even had another one, uh, 93 for plum. And I've got 76 of them for ATP. Notice every time I add one, this table is increasing in size. It's already changing. See, if I did search for 77, it will find that. Or 93, it will find that. Because our VLOOKUP is using the table reference, and our table is dynamic. There is this little resize handle in the corner where you can quickly adjust it manually if you need it. Uh, but hopefully you won't. That is part of the idea of a table. Although it's far easier to change than the static reference as well. Is that it will change itself. 
So that is looking at creating a dynamic table array or catering for increases in your lookup kind of table size. Hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computerguardguard.com. And as for now, we've got video number five on the way, which is catering for the problem where VLOOKUP cannot look to its left.